you're not going to believe this. Even I don't. The part I don't believe is that I found myself in that situation. Here it is. Date number two with the gentleman. First date, he drives, he lives about an hour away, drives up here. We go out to a nice lunch, uh, early dinner, you know, four o'clock. So an early, early dinner. We had a nice time and a okay conversation. Nothing really exciting, but, uh, he wasn't, he didn't ask any questions about me. Um, he told me a couple of things about himself, but he was perfectly fine not saying anything, just eating. And then he wanted to come to, back to my house. He wanted to see where I lived. So we did come back to my house. We sat on my patio and we, uh, he didn't like the outside. He wanted to hang around inside. And I like, I, 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 go home. You know, I'm, so I <laughs> graciously sent him home. Date number two, he calls me and says, I'd like to see you tomorrow. Are you going to, you know, is that all right? I said, oh, well, I can shuffle my schedule around and I'll take the afternoon off mm. from work. I don't get a lot of time off. Okay. So I did that. And I said to him, I said, hey, there's a big event going on that's going to be really great here in my town. Would you like to go? I was actually going to buy the tickets. They were very expensive, too. And uh, he said, oh, no, I don't really I don't really feel like that. I, it'd be much too late. It'd be much too late when I get there for that. I said, oh, oh, oh OK. Uh, OK. All right. He got here in plenty of time to go to this event hours before this event. And he got here and he wanted to hang around my house. And I said something about maybe go get a bite to eat. And he said, well, I'm not really hungry yet. And so I thought, oh, okay. You know, reasonable enough. So he's, he makes himself at home on my sofa. He's got my, my remote control, 84 inch TV, Roku. He's sitting here playing, having himself good times, feet up on my coffee table. And I just thought, he puts on some old cowboy movie. And I thought, I don't want to watch that shit. I don't want to watch that. What's up with that? So I thought, uh, okay, well, I really don't know how to bring up this conversation. Like, hey, I really don't want to watch that. I'm not even the least bit interested. So I piddled and puttered around my house doing things. He had gotten up at some point and gone to his car to, I don't know, get his phone charger or plug uh, something. I don't know. I don't know. I was busy taking care of my household little projects that I hadn't had time to take care of now that I got an afternoon off. A little while later, I said, well, so I bring it up again. Let's go do some. Oh, I don't really feel like I just want to relax today. Well, in my head, the voice was screaming, go home and relax. Get off my damn sofa. But I didn't. I, my politeness kind of kicked in, took over. I don't know why that, that little thing on my shoulders always making me be polite because I don't feel like that. So that goes on. Another movie. I thought, what the hell? I putter around a little further and I, I noticed that in my guest bathroom that things, something's different in there, but I, I don't know what, and I, uh, okay. So I'm, cause I'm putting around the house, putting things away and, you know, cleaning up, folding some laundry. I, you know, I, I'm killing time here at my house, feeling awkward in my own house, feeling unwelcomed and not a place in the, my own house that I pay all the bills to. Mm. I pulled myself together. I thought I'm overreacting. I'm, it's all in my head. I'm, I'm, I go in my ensuite, my bathroom in my private bedroom, and I notice there is a toothbrush and an extra bar of soap in my bathroom on the counter. What in the hell? So I, I said, "Is that yours?" Knowing it was, oh, did, the damn cat didn't bring it in. And he said, "Oh yeah." He said, "I was just going to stay." Over, he says, long drive. I said, it's only an hour. It's not a long drive. Date number two. Oh, oh okay. Uh, no, I said, I, 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 that's not, uh, uh, no, no, I, we're not going to do that. You have wasted my whole afternoon off. I don't get a lot off and I'm offended and put out that you have wasted my whole afternoon off. This is not a date. This is you being a bum. Hanging around my house, soaking up my air conditioning, playing with my Roku 84 inch TV and watching my streaming channels and uh, eating snacks and just hanging out, helping yourself in my fridge. Drank my last beer. I had one little beer in the fridge, just one. It'd been there for, I don't know, a few days, a month. I, hell, who knows? But went, got in the fridge, opened that beer and told me, oh, I, you're out of beer. I, when he had said it earlier in the day, I didn't say it. I just thought... Who in the F is he talking to? 
I'm out of beer. Like I was supposed to. I'd had all the acting polite that I could take, and I just let him have it. I said, "You, this is you're rude. You don't have any dating etiquette. You don't have any house manners, and you you don't." And he said, uh, "Well, you know, I, I've got a good job, and does that got to do with me? <laughs> I got a good job too." <laughs> was that? You have a job? That's what you got to offer, fool. Do you see this beautiful home and all these pretty things in it? Guess who provides them? Me. I got a job. Get the hell out of my house. Go home. Y'all, I'm going to be single forever. I am just sure of it. <sighs> Y'all that are married, keep in mind all the good ones are married. Y'all take good care of them, okay? Congratulations. Take good care of them. But we who threw some out, we should not have thrown them out with the trash. No. We should have taken them down to the garbage incinerator and tossed them in there so that our counterparts wouldn't have to be doing this in the dating pool. I'm going to be single forever. It's a good thing I like myself. It's a good thing I enjoy my own company because I'm going to be single forever. And this sadly, I think I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I've been on, you know, Match.com and... Uh, it absolutely has sucked. Like, it sucks. And I just got off the phone with this guy, and I, I, I'm literally floored. Five minutes into the conversation, like, the, all he did was talk about himself, his ex-girlfriend who lives in LA, who, I, it was, I literally, as I got, I was on the phone call, I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to get the phone call, because I was just out to dinner with friends, and I just wanted to relax, but I was like, okay, I'll take the phone call. And as he's talking, I'm, I'm taking the laundry out of the dryer. I, I'm just like making my salad. I'm like totally tuning him out and I go, this is really bad. So, you know, I love you guys. I'm gonna continue to do my Julie Liza styling, my wardrobe styling. I'm gonna continue doing my TikToks, hang out with my friends. I'm gonna just live my best life. But sadly, this, um, this fabulous lady is probably going to not ever be with a man again. What can I say? One more thing. I'm very active on social media and I know, mm. and I see it all the time, women, not just my age, but women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever, everyone is going, we're done. We don't wanna, we're, 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 we're gonna hang out with our cats and our plants. I'm not gonna do the cats because I'm allergic, but you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's, something's going on. I, I cannot, I don't know. Ever since the pandemic, we've all lost our minds. We can't connect. It's like this, I don't know. And honest to God, I wish I was attracted to women. I mean, I am. I think women are gorgeous, but I don't feel that way. And I'm at a, I'm at a loss. I surrender. I I'm asking tonight. I mean, you can see I'm jacked. I'm jazzed up about this. I want to know: Are you experiencing this? Suggestions? Like I I'm I'm at a loss because the truth is, I would like to spend. Like I don't even want to get married. I don't even think I want to get married again. I ever like I just don't even want to live with someone. I just want to have someone to hang out with and you know do other things. I, I just don't see it happening so all right guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel so yeah you have heard everything for yourself these older women are not happy with their dating life at the age of 50 and 60 years but then there is something that i want to say you know i feel like these type of horrible dates don't only happen to older women it can happen to a younger woman it doesn't have any race it doesn't have any nationality it can happen to anybody because you may never know whom you are going to date but i love this woman i love how she's narrating the story she is so funny so so hilarious and the advice that she gave is very very important i love the fact that she's advising couples not to leave each other if you have a good person hold the person tight because the good ones are rare i love that advice so much i mean she's not like other single women who will just come to social media and advise women to leave their relationships raise your standards don't settle and all that even though she is single she's still advising people to stay with the good good partners and i love her for that seriously i really love her for that all right so at this point let me just go ahead and read some of the comments that came in let's see what people had to say about this dating experiences the first comment says 
Pay attention, ladies with unrealistic standards. This will be your future. Ooh, he just wanted to smash. It ain't rocket science. Why? Dude was a savage, laugh out loud. Seeing women do the same, this is just hilarious. Of course. I actually felt sorry for her. She's actually pretty cool. She gives off some pleasant vibes. Of course, like I said, I love the woman so much. She's just fun and a great storyteller. Alright guys, that is all for the comments. Let me know what you also think in the comments section. And thank you so much for watching the full video. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video for me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Stay safe out there. Bye.